Hello, I'm Entrelissim and welcome to a sponsored Let's Try Transport Fever 2. Transport Fever 2 is a tycoon game where you basically move stuff around, sometimes it's people, sometimes it's cargo, uh, by planes, trains, trucks, buses, boats, whatever, uh, carrier pigeon. I guess you can't really move passengers around by carrier pigeon. I guess maybe if you had enough of them. Anyway, the point being is you move stuff around and that's how you make money. Uh, this is a sponsored video, so it's sponsored by Good Shepherd Entertainment. There will be a link down below if you wish to get the game on Steam, you could use that link. Um, and if you don't, then you don't have to use that link. That's the wonder of sponsored videos. Uh, we're going to do a free game. And we are going to do... We could try dry? Yeah, let's try dry. We're going to play medium, 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 medium. Yeah. And as the seed, we will use... What's a good seed? Go vote. I'm pretty sure I used it the other day on stream. Um, happy holiday. That's the worst spelling of holiday. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have full stops in the middle of it. There we go, that's nice. You've got like this nice splitting river type situation going on. Hopefully it means we can get boats involved. No, happy holidays is is not enough river. I want more river in my life. Okay, happy holiday it is. And you'll see that we've got cities, industry, nine towns, 72 industry, 12 by 12 kilometer. And we will use US vehicles for this. And we'll start in 1880. No, let's start a little bit later. Let's start 1910. So we've got a little bit more in the way of options. Uh, medium difficulty, start. Now, when you hit start, obviously you get that train sound. I'm, I'm assuming that train sound isn't what this plane makes, because that would be a bit of a weird combination. But right now it's just creating the map, etc. So it's going to be uh, like about a minute, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 30 seconds to be able to just build up the map and preface this. The idea being that we'll have to make networks of rail system that allows to transport goods around. There are some, some strict rules, like if you have two trains going the opposite way on a rail, they will lock up and be like, hi, I can't get past you. So you need to build like sidings and stuff so trains can pass, in which case one of them will pull into the siding. You've got to be able to know how many uh, lanes your station has to be able to how quickly you can get stuff on and off. Um, the length of your station is important, like your station needs to be, you know, 120 meters long to be able to fit a 120 meter train. That sort of stuff. I'm hoping we can get boats involved. I've never used a boat. In game, in real life obviously I've used a boat. Come on, that last little bit. Ooh, good cup of tea. Maybe a bit too much milk. I'm trying to get used to it now. Like, I've just switched from almond milk to lactose-free milk, which is actually milk, just free of lactose. I'm, I'm trying a non-lactose thing at the moment. Um, and... It's weird because I have to use a different amount of milk in my tea now. And so obviously I'm putting too much milk in because I'm like, oh, it's almond milk. And it's not. Sorry, this is a very deep conversation about tea. I'm sure all the Americans out there are like, what is he on about? Sorry, what is he on about? That was a really bad American. I've got my nose is kind of blocked, so I'm going to blame that. Hi, let's put some pause. So this is our map. This is the water. Salem, hello. You want bread and fuel. Bread and fire. That's what we want. Bread and fire. Bring us bread. Bring us fire. Um, I already turned the tips off. Coal, right? Yeah. You produce wheat. That converts crude oil into oil. That's an oil well. This is a good place to set up, like, 
some good money early on, right? This oil well produces 400 oil. And you can turn two oil into, or two crude oil into oil. Thank you for the tips there. I've got a forest place there. Now, you do need to turn refined oil into fuel, but I don't know where we're doing that. There will be somewhere on the map. Here we go. Yeah, so we need to get the oil up to here. So, sorry, the crude up to here, turn the crude into oil, take the oil over to here, turn the oil into fuel, take the fuel up to here. And we could do that, but that is a very long route to run. We'd have to build a bridge to go over this, and that's all kinds of hassles. So the first thing we'll do, I think, is we will set up um, rail building. We could do this with trucks, by the way. Like, it's totally possible to do this via truck. Trucks won't be able to transport as much. We need, like, far more trucks to be able to do anything. But... We need the cargo station terminus. If we do a cargo station, you'll see that it's, like, off to the side. Terminus is... Yeah, it ends here. Uh, the reason I want to use a terminus is because I can do this. Do, do, do. There, connect you to the road. If we're using the cargo station... Do, 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 do. We'd have that. Which then we'd have to like try and turn that train and train lines turn slowly. So. Now it's only got one track you can see there. We could put more tracks in like if we click like four. We've got loads of tracks but this is going to cost like a lot more so we don't need that. I guess maybe we could. Maybe we could go for double track. And a 240 meter platform. Like, oil makes a good amount of money. We've got 10 million to start with. Sure. Done. And then cargo station. I think we aren't perfectly parallel there. I'm gonna have to use shift turn. There we go. Right, tracks. This one's pretty simple. There we go. Straight track. If we cut it into the ground a little bit. Yeah, up here you can see we've cut it into the ground. That boulder does not look safe. Also looks a bit like a grinning skull. And... You know what, we'll just put in a second line. I know this is really lazy, like they could just use one line and have them alternating. But... We'll put a passing lane in. And now they can transit between the two. Uh, I actually might want to delete that one. But it'd be hard to grab it, so I can't mod. Um, that means that you can change sides. And now we just need to build a train and, well, a line as well. So line manager, boop, new line, boop, boop. And then we will rename you to Norman Crude Oil. Then, oh, we need a train depot. I always forget the train depot. So, obviously, 
to get trains, you're going to need someone that can store, house, take apart, disassemble, whatever, the trains. That is a train depot. So I think our train depot is going to be... We could put it like here and have it feed both sides. Sure. Train depot is relatively cheap compared to everything else. And now, those numbers are basically like the top speed because of the curve. We don't need them to be particularly fast when coming in and out of the depot. So, I'm going to just go for like a 50. And that should allow trains to go each way out of the depot. Right. By vehicle. What do we have? The Baldwin, the Mogul, the Ten Wheeler, the 442 Atlantic. And then tank car and tank car. This is a much higher top speed. Loading speed is times two as well. Capacity 12, capacity seven. Yeah, this is just better, but it does cost almost three times as much. Okay, what about you? Power, 700 kilowatts. Attractive effort, 100 kilonewtons. But, you know, obviously much higher prices. Like, you cost almost half a million just to r run this one train. Your lifespan is 40 years, though, so... Ooh, your lifespan's 50. And it has much more attractive effort. Like, look at that. 700 power and 100 attractive, as opposed to 550 power and... 160 attractive. This is the one that's going to be like going up and down hills, right? This is the one that's just going to be like, hey, if you want to go up a steep incline, use this one. I think we use the 442 just because this is a flat area. We don't really care about that. So we grab that. We go for 132 capacity. That would be more money than we have. Okay. Maybe I didn't need to put the second uh, track in. I've been playing on um, earlier starting dates and trains cannot carry that much at earlier starting dates. So I've been like, oh, you know, I need a second track. I don't need a second track. Not that, that cost a huge amount. Okay, we'll start with a 96 capacity. And we might be able to up that later. And we'll assign you to the Norman Crude Oil. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to just turn off tips. How do I do that? Enable guide system. I think that's the one. Right, and we should see... Our sexy steam automotive. Automotive? Locomotive. A little bit different. Why are you going this way? Shouldn't you be going to pick up the crude? It's trying to get up speed. 30 kilometers an hour. Should have probably checked the details about that train. Can I see them? No. I'd have to send you back to the um, 
the depot to see the stats. I should have checked what its like performance would be, because you can see the performance with the, you know, X amount of cards, etc. Almost up to 60 kilometers per hour. We could also do this and be like, hey. It's a train. The sad thing about the, the arid land is it's pretty sparse, so you do get the sense of, like, you're moving really fast. A little, but with, say... Oh, hello. Ah, we took the, the last change, so we had to slow down for that. That's why I was afraid of that last little dog leg there. I didn't make it big enough, so we had to slow down. Yeah, what I was saying is, uh, like, with um, Temperate, because you've got all these trees around really close, you're often just going past tree and it's going... Foof, 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 foof. So you get that feeling of speed. Alright, come back down here. Maybe the second line is needed. If we're going to use this to be able to provide trains for our entire train line, maybe the second line is needed. Ninety-six out of ninety-six. Okay. Getting up to a good speed already. Sixty. Ah, didn't even get to seventy. Close, but no cigar. And you keep taking that last little Yeah. And there we go, made three quarters of a million. Now, it's going to take like 10 trips and a bit to be able to pay off just the locomotive. And of course, we're paying upkeep on the damn thing. This is our profit right here. Not while you're doing that. See, notice how big a change that is. Like, that goes on for quite a way. That means it's not a sharp turn, so you can keep the speed here. Not the case. Right, that should be 70. That's good. And it took it, look at that, without slowing down. Nice. Yeah, good profit now. Transport is at 48%. So it's saying basically you could have a second train on the line of the same size. Let's check if it says it after the next delivery. Yeah, still at 48. So if we had enough money, we could put another train on this line. We don't have enough money. That train cost a fortune. What we can do instead is look for some cheaper, easier money. For instance, if we want to tra transport grain to somewhere that will turn that into food, we can maybe do that by like a truck or something instead. Grain here, grain to food there. It means going around this, which is not great, like... Hmm. There's got to be other ones. Grain to food, grain to food. All right, grain to food. Food. Well, grain. And then the food up here. All right, this is a lovely one. We just need to go from here to here to here. So you produce 200. You use two to one to make a hundred. And you need food. Seems perfect to me. Uh, we're going to keep this on normal speed. 
So we need. Oh, we can build streets as well. Neat. You can't do that in early game, I think. Um, we'll need a road depot. There we go. And that allows to buy and sell trucks. And I think we need a truck station. We'll make it 20 meters long, why not? They're relatively cheap by comparison to trains. The advantage of trucks is that much cheaper. So you could probably imagine. Right, a little bit. There we go. Careful. Oh, I don't want to remove that field. Whoops. Back away. Back away. Come on. There we go. And then... Truck unload. We probably just want a truck unload stop. Ah, uh, we might want to unload other stuff around here. Mm. You know what? There's enough buildings around here that I feel okay saying two platforms left and right and oh that would demolish those buildings now if I make it shorter I'm trying to think if there's a way for us to do this without having to demolish quite so many things obviously we can make it smaller but I don't really want to Try the truck unload stop. I've never actually used a truck unload stop before. No, it will cause congestion. I can't. What will happen is that all the trucks will stop in the road there to drop off stuff, and then everything's going to back up behind it. We need to use we need to use a proper track uh, depot. Um, Uh, demolishing this building is super expensive. We could just place it at the edge of town. Yeah, let's do that. Now, I've made it a big one with all these extra things because later on, I'm hoping Little Rock's going to grow and then we can deposit other stuff there and we can use the same one. Right, so line manager. New line. We're going to do an entire three course line here. So we're going to rename this to um, Rock Corn Bread Sale. And then 
we will need road depot. What have we got? Stagecoach, Mac, horse drawn carriage, which does cargo. Okay. Uh, horse drawn carriage with side stakes. Does not do bread. Flatbed truck. Top all in truck. The only difference is that cargo thing. Okay, power four, capacity six. Honestly, I'm tempted by the horse Tron because look at this, like power is two as opposed to four. Capacity is five as opposed to six. So yeah, it, it's not as good. 20 speed as opposed to 25 speed. But the upkeep's less. We don't need power, we're going over flat terrain. So yeah, I think we just buy like six of these or something. Go, my pretties! Go! The horses. Oh, look at their little legs. And we just got trucks. We we could have used these trucks. God damn it. We literally just got tarpaulin truck, which is what we want. You know what? Instead of paying upkeep on these, let's just let's just, you know, bite the bullet. Return to depot. There we go, they're turning around. There we go, there's a top and truck. Seven and twice the speed. That's the important part here, right? Twice the speed is going to be huge. Also, twice the lifespan. I think we'll only go for four of them. Go. Be free. Now, the reason I'm not running both is because the horses will slow these guys down. Like, they'll get congested on the street, and that's just useless, so. Ah, they're staggering themselves. They're deliberately waiting for one to be able to leave. Now, because this stage actually needs twice as many, we probably should run extra trucks on this stage, right? So let's run a new line. I'm gonna call this the rock corn bread line because it's two corn equals one bread. I guess we could use horses for this last bit. Your capacity isn't high enough, is it? Details. What's the capacity? Five. Seven. Ah, uh, you might be able to manage that. 
Okay, what if we edit this line then? And we just made you... Uh... Red sail. Red sail brackets rock. Can I do that? Just to say it's been sold at rock. So then we just want to get rid of up a little rock. Okay. We want to transfer all of you to cornbread. Then we select all of you and put you on bread sale. And now all of our motorized vehicles should be fine. Now, they've got roughly equal carry capacity, but these ones have got twice as much speed. So I'm thinking it should work out. Except for the loading time. There we go, there's money. Now this is the in and that's the out, so we've got two separate lines coming in rather than just the one line. This actually works better. Meanwhile down here, where's our train? Yeah, you're making reliable money. Uh, ooh, new boat. I've got to figure out how to use boats really, like, I've never really used them. I guess it's good for like if you want to do a big bulk transport. So say we're going to transport the grain from here to here. We probably have to transport it to like here and then have trucks doing that last leg or something though. So it does get more complicated. And then we could transport it to here by boat as well. Yeah, that makes sense. We could maybe do that. Which just seems so much simpler just to be like, I'm gonna put trucks do this, like just transport them like that. Oh, there's a lovely area here. Oil, oil, oil. These refine the oil, that turns it into fuel, and that, that's just fuel right there. We need enough money to be able to afford that, though. Trains are expensive. Okay, this line is making good money now. Like, not as much as oil does, obviously. This line is making amazing money. And transports at forty-two percent, so we can up that. Uh, wrong one. There we go. Get some more trucks going. Right, checking back on you. Why are you transporting 72%? Fluctuating up and down a little bit, sure. But that's not second train territory. That's like a few extra cars. We can do that soonish, not right now. We'd have to take the train off the line to do it. Like if you send the train back to the depot.
Yeah, there we go. Going pretty well. You also want cogs. Machines. Out of interest, where do we make machines? I've never done machines before. Where are they? You want machine. Here we go. Steel and... Oh, steel and goods. That's so complicated to do. Like, goods need... I think steel and plastic or something? Yeah. No, yeah, steel and plastic. Steel needs... Uh, iron or coal. Plastics need... Oil. We could actually do this loop here. This is actually very close together. Oil. Uh, crude to oil, oil to plastic. Done. And then we could send the plastic somewhere. Not sure where it needs just plastic though. Oh! Planks. Is it planks you want? It's planks! It's not goods, it's planks. Okay, good. Sorry, I got confused between these two symbols because they're both slightly brown. Uh, yeah, I know. They're not that similar. We could make steel here, transport steel there, but making planks is more of a... Yeah, it's much more of a distance operation. We can't really afford that. Oh, hello. I apparently cannot go down. This is... Oh, there we go. I'm back. I have that problem in a few games. I don't know why. I think it's something due to like a virtual joystick on my PC. It came back though, which is nice. Hi there. I'm going to let you do this trip because you've got a full load now. And then we're going to send you back to the depot. And then we're going to tack on um, three, I want to say, new tank cars. You get a good turn speed up, which is nice, but we're going to ruin that. Right, return to depot. And there we go. Right. Yeah, mediocre performance. Uh, we'll add one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't actually do that. It's too long. There we go. Three. Okay. Back out you go. We've got a, is that a commuter tram or whatever it is, this passenger thing. Right, over here, how is this route doing? Yeah, it's making in like a third of a mil, which is really good. Transport's up to 81. Your transport is 100, but that's because you haven't hit full amount of production yet. Pretty sure that's a lie. You've got food sitting here. Yeah, food's going to start building up there, even more so. We could just get ourselves another couple of horses to deal with that. I mean, we should probably get, you know, trucks, but we've already started with the horses, so. And look how they slow down.
man pass through each other. Okay, that should help. How much are we earning on this line? Uh, money. Like, I often find it's the very first leg. You know, crude oil to oil. Stuff like that. That you make a lot of money on. Oh yeah, because we took you off the line. It's reset the... Uh, the valuation. Need to let you operate for a little while. Uh, what is going to be our next project? Um, I want to say like another train, but we don't have the money for that right now. Well, like, new train, new flatbed truck, new tarpaulin truck, a slower tarpaulin truck as well. Probably one that's got like more traction or cheaper. Train looks fancy though, I like that train. I like trains. Right. I'm thinking, I don't really want to do that lumber because it's so far away. Like that distance is gonna take a while for trucks to do. But at the same time, that makes planks, and then planks can be set down here, and then this we could totally set up. In fact, we could probably set this up now to make steel. We need to put in a road, because I'm not going all the way around, that's done. Expensive to put a road in. There we go. Oh, that's because we had to cut it into the ground there. There. Right. I think we've got to do a depot because otherwise the trucks are going to be coming all the way down here and across. Again, depots being relatively cheap. New line. Oh, can't do a new line until we have these things. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, I've been playing on Fast Forward for a bit. That's what happens when this time of the year, right? People delivering packages and parcels and knocking on the door. So inconvenient. Uh, right. It was actually just ice cube trays. I'll be honest, not the most intriguing or amazing thing I've been delivered. Right, we are making money there. Now. Uh, we need to put in a... Road Depot. And I think we will put it in at this V here. And looking at this, use the same amount of iron ore as you do coal which means that we are going to probably want to make sure that they're even and that's really easy to do we just put in a line that goes to both of them so everyone services both mines how's that going to work there's going to be a lot of crossing here we might want to consider upgrading this at some point in the future Right. Probably don't need as fancy a one here. One platform on the left and right is probably plenty. Especially since we've got a length of 20 meters on the platform. And I'm going to give it a bit of distance just so if we do expand that road we can. Uh, 
There we go. And this is annoying. Like we can't fit that in. I'm gonna probably put it at the end here instead. Right, line. I want you to go from coal. Ah. Coal. To steel. Iron. To steel. And we're going to call this the coal, iron, steel circuit. Uh, Tuscan circuit, because we need to name where it is. is fancy about this. A higher capacity by one. Costs less as well. Lifespan's less though. I don't know, I'm not a fan of the lifespan being less. Like we'll have to replace it earlier. Hmm. Yeah, for the one extra capacity, I mean, two with the, the tarpaulin. Actually, we'd have to use this one, which is only capacity seven. That's capacity nine. What's the difference in price? The upkeep's like 300 more. I think we go for it. And we're going to need to buy quite a few. So like 12. And then go, my pretties, go! That's a lot. We get like a, there we go. Oh, look at the little cabs. They're like, oh, it's so smooth and stuff. The little panels. That's kind of cute. Whee. Right, you're waiting to stagger them. I was like, is something wrong? Oh, wait, you're waiting to stagger. Okay. We will need to stagger these quite massively. You know, while we're waiting, we should pay off some of our loan because I think we start off with a loan of... Where's our loan? Here we go. 10 million. All the money is out of his loan. So obviously we're paying interest on that, which, you know, I'd like to get rid of. Here we go. Now, this is actually two platforms, which means that we've got coal and iron coming in and then eventually steel out. So we might need to expand this, which is why I've placed it so far away as well. Do your thing, that little truck. How are we doing here? 
Transportation, 91%. That's good enough. Yeah, 1.5 million a year. That's a good return. You're making a third of a mil a year. You're making 60,000. Which is fine. Yeah, we've basically got break even on transportation there. We could transport slightly more grain. Yeah, I think we'll do so. We'll just get two more. And that's corn to bread. I want to see how the mining vehicles do once they've started to even out. They're still getting into the swing of things, so... Under. Loading speed turns two. Okay, I was like, maybe they've got a longer loading speed? No, it's about the same. These are the consumers of steel. So the two closest to you and you, eh, not massively close, but at least, I mean, I guess they're, they aren't at all close if you consider the fact that there's no bridge. Is there no bridge at all? I don't think there's genuinely any bridges across here. Yeah, we'd have to build our own bridge. Or a boat. We, we can actually boat down here. That might actually be one of the solutions to boat down to here. This circuit's already making us a third of a mil and is likely to rise. However, our transportation is a third of what it could be. How many of you did we get? We got like 12, right? Buy another 20. I, I just can't afford another 20. One more trip with that train. I'll be able to afford another 20. There we go. Be gone! Go! Flee into the night! My pretties! We might need to expand some of our infrastructure, but that's fine. That would allow us to go from the other side as well. Let's check on one that we've got that we built like purpose from scratch. Yeah. What I really should do is have a separate in and out.
Ja. Still, this is mostly just them trying to stagger themselves. We're slowly getting through the backlog. I thought they'd come down here and... Hmm. I guess maybe they're saving that for something else or... I guess they're saving it for the stuff on here. There we go. I think we might have actually filled you up on coal. No, okay. Oh, plane! A Yunkers F-13. I mean, the First World War has just ended, so that makes sense. Right, how are we doing on transportation here? 54%. How many more would we need? That will up as these guys go up there, but... The fact we're only up 54% here, we'd need like another 30. Ah, right, we can set the terminals. Maybe we can set a terminal over here. No. It's automatically done like that. There we go. We'll put them on separate terminals. That way... That way it might help. I don't know. That means, in theory, coal and iron are coming to different places. It won't help up here, obviously. But here we're getting half the traffic because, you know, these two feed into this one. It'll take them a while to update what they're doing. There we go, you did. Yeah, that should really help with the overcrowding. Uh, we could also lengthen the terminal. That would last to get through more vehicles at once. So, yeah. So, more terminals is how you get more produce through. More types of produce. Longer terminals is how you get... A type of produce through more quickly. Okay, how are we doing up here? Okay, but if we expand any further, we'd be bottlenecked. Probably the same for here. Uh, got myself a bus, a Schneider. Yeah. It will even out a bit, because we did just dump a load of extra vehicles on. Yeah, that route makes half a million. That's pretty good. There we go, less than half of our initial loan left. And up here, 
Still going strong. Choo choo million. You fully make choo choo sounds, by the way, while you play this game. That's like mandatory. Yeah, we're getting 100% transportation now. You're making a third of a mil reliably. You're making 60k reliably. And whoop, hello. We've gone for a little journey. I told you there's that issue that my joystick has occasionally. Ah, I don't have a joystick. Pretty sure it's a virtual joystick that does this. It does it in a few games. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah, uh, you're only making... 700,000? For the amount of money I put into that train line, right? That train line... Okay. That train line cost, you know, what was it? 8 million? Almost 10 million? This, this truck route is making hand over fist money. Like, we put so little money into this in comparison. All we did is put in, what, a road, a truck depot, and then an investment of like two million in just millions of trucks. All the trucks. And we're up to 52% and 61%. Okay, so roughly around 55%. Like we could add another 28 trucks to this and have 60 trucks doing the rounds. We'd probably have to do something about these, like maybe to double the length, but we could. And they're making so much money. There we go, down to three mil. And I think, considering I've just got the little bug back. Ah, ah, come here, come here, come here, come here. I wanna, I wanna look at this. You know what, let's go find a train. Eh. There we go. Oh yeah. Thank you for watching. This has been a sponsored video sponsored by Good Shepherd Entertainment. Uh, if you really want to get the game, there is a link down below. It's on Steam now, so, you know, if you want to, you, there's a link. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. Like, no one's going to make you. Uh, do it, do it now. I've been Aaron Lissium. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe, and until next time, stay shiny.